Hello people. How are we doing today? Connection in progress. So middle logo is barely visible and the left one is not visible. Bless me. Uh, let's say sixty. Oops. There we go, we're on 60 now. Log into Xbox Live. Do we bother? One second. I am still here. in characters, blah blah blah. Hello Ace, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Why did you pause? Xbox. Chrisina, how you doing? Long time no see. How is life? Not too bad. Hey, kiddo. Well, it got me down a bit, but I need yeah, to ask you that's life. Questions, okay? How are you? Been up so much? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I. 
I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... Work's so not fun. Her. But at least it's the weekend. I killed my mother. And we have a brand new game to play. This is free on Xbox and on um, Steam, possibly other places, this month to keep forever. So if you do find this any good, go get it. Or if you know someone who you think would like it. Still got a long way to go. Oh, that's not good. Where's the sound? It's gone all quiet. I'm guessing it's meant to be playing music and I've turned the music off. Damn DMCA. Hey, you don't look crazy at all talking to yourself in the mirror. I mean, at least he's clean in the place. Ah, oh, my neck just cracked. That's not good. Should we skip it? we can. I'm clicking. Press and buttons. Don't look like we can skip this bit. Oh my god, every time I go live. Fazana, I'm not interested. Go away. Don't need your scam service. Okay, first, I'm gonna hey. find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Every Everything's fine. Not here. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. Night to watch. I would want to go. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. I was searching for my keys the other day. I haven't used them in so long. So that's where you've been hiding. You cute. Bring back the dolly. On the dolly. Like another lifetime. All right. Okay. I think I'm ready to go now. One more season. What am I even gonna do with myself when it's over? get invested in the lives of real people can fly this I've been practiced since high school I'm probably super rusty not the prettiest of my creations I could look at this artwork all day no you couldn't probably not gonna see any stars at this time of day 
Did we check the desk? I want to make sure we don't miss anything. Why do I still have this? Every God damn it. Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Allison and Bobby. Senior prom. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Police Chief Brown asked Council to reconsider budget. Dock strike to begin. Mayor, blah de blah. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. Guessing the one on the right's the brother. Don't know who Michael that and Tyler is. are so gonna hit it off. She into a lot of spacecraft. I need to bring this with me to Juno. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but. It makes me happy just to look at the box. It's a very, uh, badly animated rocket ship. Good sized bedroom, though. Dear Tyler, you know what you think in a letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with the email? Well, I figured, hey bro, just wanted to give you... to give my twin a shout before returning after ten years. Of swank juvie. It's more like a letter. It's more like letter territory, whatever. You'll thank me when you're 90 and the machine's save taking over and you'll still have something to read by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. Definitely going to be awkward when I see you. Please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? You sad about leaving your mateys? Bet they're going to miss you. Got my tires replaced so I'm all good to pick you up. You can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, bet she's let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about the place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Alison. Um, so he I believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Has obviously I'm killed his mother. Done here. I just need to grab my aunt. The soundtrack to um, my teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need been listening to this on a loop lately. He's going back and they're gonna sell the house. I'm about to leave this behind. But the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. They'll look about at their history, what happened, uh, try and work out things. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. And this guy is uh, transgender. Hey, little guy. You're going to be reunited with your sister soon. I said to take it. Oh, he is. This guy's transgender, and um, obviously he's going to see his sister. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go. Bye, Herbert. 
is to win. Take me, this box of junk treasures now yours by the first lords finders keepers. Did not. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Didn't we read this, or is this another thing? No, I'm bad at this. Just want to say you've been the best counselor and at risk yet. Remember your youth. Could want thanks for burning up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. Try to make it count outside. Fire read. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. Please give me water and the sun. Thanks. We have tomorrow for a reason. This is where some crappy music plays. Oh, poor Teddy. What did the teddy ever do to you? Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. Likewise. <laughs> yeah, you, you seem really else happy. You need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan. Shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep. We're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? <laughs> hmm. God the damn sweet it. taste of overcooked halibut. But seriously, yeah, it was home. For a while, you know? Oh. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm also really happy to never eat that halibut again. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Guess I was supposed to use the scroll wheel to change the answer. Got an Xbox achievement. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear. Fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> You go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, oh poor bad. Poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. 
What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. <sighs> I can't believe you got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. Yeah, it's not good. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. That's pretty. What about you? Allison? Ecology matters. <sighs> Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Is it though? Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> We have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. Hmm. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Gotta like that sense of humor. Beast Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. I bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, do you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. Which one's yours? I only see two houses up there. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> Why not? At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain cheap. views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. You still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? I was told, um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few really times old, I tried to get these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Just Curious how you spent your time. You're a murderer. That was going 
past. Yeah. Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Well, I don't care Please. about him. For me? He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. She's gonna be pissed if I don't. Oops. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard Do you pass. wish? Did you hear that? He looks stoned. Whoa! There's no place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. I knew that was coming. The second apology. It's so weird being back on this boat. Steal the axe. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. Guess not. Good call, by the way. Scenic route's longer, but needs more time. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Just in town for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area? My sister, and she's moving soon. This a goodbye trip then? <laughs> Something like that. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um. Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to hand it off in the past. Oh. Uh. Would you say your name was? I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh... Ronan, huh? Ronan as in the Ronans? Uh-huh. So, uh, you're... <laughs> I never knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Uh, I, uh... Nice talk. Yeah. Enjoy your time in town, Tyler. That's so awkward. What a waste of a good time. Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. Want to draw for one of the last hunts of the season. 
wonder if there'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. What's that now? Oh, uh, nothing. Whoa, look at that antique. You're not one of those odd sixes, old and boring folks, are you? I was looking at these. Canoe for sale. Try doing what the captain suggests. Right. Introduction to Markden. Under the sea. Supposed to hear it, dude. Is she down on the bottom now? I can see the harbor. We're almost there. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. There it is. Is that all you're going to say to each other? I'll see you around town. Okay then. Nice talking with you, I guess. Where we at? Yes, in the house. Oh, they said it didn't have electricity. Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. 
Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. Do we have to? After you. I'll unlock the birdhouse. Marianne always spoiled the birds. She likes animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Yes, and you want me to go inside. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? God the damn it. The door's right there. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. yeah. We find another way in. The window we, we were just on that. could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly in <sighs> The crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. It's locked, all right. What was she doing out here that night? Oh. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. Well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. They're good quality, too. Marianne wanted stuff like that to last. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so... Yeah. Nothing wrong with tearing up plants if they don't belong there. No, it should be fine. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Why do you need a screwdriver? I, I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Okay. There should be something in here that'll work. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya.
What's happening? Do you feel that? And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know. But I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did. But that was a memory of us ten years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. Didn't you hear it? It's I weird, had the key. But our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. see the silent frog coming I'm coming what stop sulking I told you already I'm sorry no you're not <laughs> okay guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then what no I want to see I guess we know where to search now we just have to remember which one is the silent frog nothing here it's the middle so which one of you is hiding the key, hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping the secret, buddy. As soon as they said the silent one. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? What am I taking? Uh, who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Is there a bird feed around here? These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. Crazy people. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Yes, and that's not an option. Also, dude, you're not going to get any purchase on that glass. Out of my way! Oh, 
open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yep. No any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? Nope. Professor Honeydew. Oh. Looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. Can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah. She scared everybody else off too. I just want to go down here to the lake. Did you really want to go out there? No, you're right. Oh, but I do. Let me have my fun. Oh, well, let me go exploring. Minis. Why is he screwing nails? You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? This is where I scared shit out of her. Oh, that's not funny! That was obvious. <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. Alright. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. What? You're not gonna come in with me? You're no fun. Why do you stand up to crouch? Ouch! Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Oh, shit. Get out of my I, head. Uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I think so. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. I want to go right. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. Nothing there. My ass. We just picked it up and got an achievement. Then left again after the goblins. We are the dirty goblins. Yes, we are. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. He's falling apart. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Goblin Den. Treasure room. It'd be awesome if we get to have this under your house. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imagination. Pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Pass the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. There's our hatch.
Do we let her in or do we explore a bit? Will it let us explore a bit? Yeah, man. Never mind the slow pans. Tyler, are you in there? Tyler! Coming. Well, I guess we got a ladder in first. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. You're all for it a few minutes ago, love. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Achievement unlocked, homecoming. All right, let's see. Broken shelf. Broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Machine repairs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change Robert for a few Brooks weeks Tessa. once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Gonna explore the open areas, then we'll go for huh. closed doors. The bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub, and we'll be rid of that too. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is then. Wow, I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us, like we were lab rats. What would little Tyler think if he walked in here right now and saw me? What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. Hmm. Fair enough. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. I love fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh, those are car things, right? No, those are hot rod things. Well. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. God damn it. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. <laughs> Not that magic. 2005. Of course.
almost the one on the seventh. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? Mars seven. Oh. Hey, that reminds me. I owe you like ten birthday gifts. I think we can let that slide. The last few months are almost all blank. Only a few appointments. Most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh yeah. She did that for a while. After all this time, I I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. My big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. It's rather a snap she took move. so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. You can keep some of them, if you want. No thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. God damn it, did she it again. Every penny. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah. She thought we were gifted. I always loved when she came over. She brought food and toys. You might not be quite so excited to see her now. Why do you say that? Her worldview is narrow, even by Della's crossing standards. Mom, we're sorry the base got broke. We didn't know. We love it so much. We need to be careful. Not act in the window room. Next time we all try and use good judgment, please forgive us for doing bad things. Sorry too. Should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you angry so much. We shall play outside instead. 
tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. Not going to do it anymore. We're sorry. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? To warn your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Mary, answer him. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear him very long. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Be back in a second, guys. Anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. And back. I'm sure it's still there. I should check our bedroom upstairs. Where'd you come from? Tail of two swords. Now this, this feels like home. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Hello, Alice and Alton. Ollie, we're writing from the past. They're like in the future. Anyway. Do you know it's super cool? Took took a tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Liar. Tyler, got some copy? bugs. But we mommy went to the restaurant. Thing is going to melt. Got Do you copy? Cool. Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Are wheels on the ferry? The Mad Hunter. No, there oh, wasn't. They were in the water. Noise. Stupid. I wish I could Especially it here, out. it's me in the postcard. To remind you how awesome we are. Especially me. Ain't no. Allison and Ollie. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, this one wasn't mine. Look, 
It's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne it's that she let us explore our artistic side you should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car yeah I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it
So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too groupthinky. finally caught the hag, his furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave, not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. They were very imaginative kids. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door is making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. God damn it. Can you read it to us? First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. I think I'm just gonna force this open. You God damn it. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it.
There's a lot to read out, which is why I'm not really reading All right. it out. One more tr So... See in the dark. Protected. And doesn't go hungry. The second one's the bear. Bear and Pelican. <clears throat> Oops. First one was don't get lost in the woods when it's dark. Always see right from wrong. Got it. Crafty Goblin. <clears throat> and how are you doing? And boom, we're in. Concentrating hard then on that one. expected this to feel more you know like a win it does seem cool Speak i haven't yourself. been I'm playing it that long riddle. why do i feel like you're not gonna let me forget that like almost an hour and a half in where do you think we should start looking not doing too bad so far i don't know where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts Every time I move this mouse, it goes over she the. Tessa were best friends, until suddenly they weren't. Stream the apps. What happened? Either Tessa it got sick of Marianne's the game. moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Straight in the trash? No, I bet we could sell it on the internet. True, maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. It's nice they're giving this away free as well. It's here. 
I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. It'll be nice to get to know some other uh, characters in this as we go on. It's had really good write-ups from what I can see. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Look, according to really um, careful not to overthink this. Their Steam page it is free for sense. Pride Month on every platform to she, keep forever. She was mad, right? She was mad. At, I I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. Do this to me, not now. When I f finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake, thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. It's got a really good animation in yeah. some parts, and some parts it's like completely off I think I need some air it's weird Excuse me. Ooh, night bulb button then. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Is it all gone? Yeah, whoa, yeah. that's a bad cut. It's not very even. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <sighs> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... Like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are twins though, Mom? so it makes sense. Mom! Look, well, kind of still look related, but look completely different. To what they did as kids. Suppose that's growing up though.
Mom? Oh no. No, 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 no. This is wrong. This is all wrong. Wait! Stop! She crazy. There's no normal reaction. Do you like his jacket? Apparently you can buy it now. I'm looked for a bit as mega expensive. Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. No, I haven't played Life is Strange. The book. Raising your transgender child? I have looked right before, though. No looked interesting. Were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. <clears throat> I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it, then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's It'd nothing. be lovely to Pretty visit sure a place like this. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Wouldn't want to live there, though. It would be too cold. As as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's yeah. what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It was it's very just, nice. You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was Some of the lakes and stuff and did remind evasions. me of areas in North Wales. Look, 
Got some nice I legs up there. Anyone. Nice mountains. I just started testosterone. And, oh God, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells, men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Always diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Don't do this, don't do that. I'm sick of a voice. I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. I know I didn't read the other bits. We gonna move? Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. It's the same one she gave you. both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. God damn it. If you squint, you can almost forget Delos Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. You ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. That will be asking a lot. View, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. <sighs> can we right. go yet? Yeah? I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Ah, uh -huh. my sister. The social butterfly. Nah, I'm more like she's talking to someone she don't want you to know about. Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never. Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man.
Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess I'm the asshole again. <laughs> you gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Well, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just it takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. <laughs> so, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? Like patching the roof, checking pipes, you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Really not Did making friends there. help Mary in with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Nope. Can you hear me? Ty, you can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh, all right. Hmm. <laughs> Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh so, uh, Guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? The only questions you given me. Alright. I hope you uh have a good night's sleep. Hopefully catch you again. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. 
Oh, thank you. Okay. Ask a few more questions. It's giving me the same ones. You too, Ant. You know Take care. Not as well as I thought. Let's get this. Guess not. I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Yep. Too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit. So. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Uh, keys, oh, Mister. We all got to get going. Oh, uh, of course, of course. Yeah, I got lots to do myself. I. Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh... This place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her. And it's like some part of her is alive here still. Yeah. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh... Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself. Uh, oh, both God. Of hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Where are you going now? So right behind you is for a tiny cutscene. I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Is that meant Just to be twin speak? Try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? I'm gonna walk hey faster. You. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. 
Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh. And did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can <laughs> I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Anything interesting around here? joke get it because it's a dome you're gonna fall stupid that was funny no nah, it was just bad i can't believe you didn't laugh that was hilarious not as funny as you getting all pouty when i didn't laugh at your jokes i loved baiting you it was my favorite thing Guess we can't go up there. God damn it. I want to have the Christmas to casino and noodles yeah. and spring rolls. Complained it wasn't and can we get the coconut uh, cake for dessert? Easy, easy, easy my hungry goblin. We have to leave some food for the other customers. <laughs> But Auntie Tessa says we can have whatever we want. Too cheap to replace it. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Becky? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideals. And not exactly charismatic. It's as far as we can go. Bible study. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's going to totally screw up salmon migration. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. 
mail theft. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Mm hmm I didn't want to get rid of her old food truck. Too many memories. Great marketing though, right? You can't miss it. Should we go inside or stand around until we become human popsicles? Human popsicles. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. To say the That's least. One way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Value pack. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. <laughs> Remember how we would stage sit-ins at the candy aisle? What do we want? Candy corn! When do we want it? Before we go home! Ah, candy corn. <laughs> so nasty. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow... Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy-ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy-ass candles. You only live once. Hey, Tyler. Candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Sugar rush it is. Uh. Did you write that? You're sweet, but uh, no. It's from this cheesy movie musical with Idris Elba. Oh, didn't see it. Eh, you can probably skip it. Unless you're in the mood to drool over Idris Elba for two exquisite hours. Uh, I'm more of an Ezra Miller kind of guy. <laughs> hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? No way, it's still here? I thought Tom would have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12 pounder! <laughs> oh, bless him. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? <laughs> Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. 
I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> you really saved my ass when you caught that. Yep, and you still owe me for it. Anyway, how's your day going? We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right, well, I'll be here if you need me. He's shaking his head like, no, nope, no, nope, tell me. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Well, surface or purpose? We'll go all purpose. I'll take the strong one. Strawberries in November. Man, she got deep pockets. I don't mean she's buying a lot of crap. I mean, look at what she's storing in them. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Um. OJ sound good to you? Yep. We'll go healthy for now. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Until we uh, are able to get a load of alcohol. Party Allison, at the lodge. I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. That was a cheap shop. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. God's Best plan, my you, ass. Truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Where are you going? Damn it. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? 
What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? I want to talk to you. Now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... Oh my god. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. So you don't like working here, huh? Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. 
Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. But don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? Chatted nice, no I want the info. Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Play that here tune, Tom. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? Silence. I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? A toy. Oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Winner. You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. God damn it. Resume. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close, like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Okay. Finding us looking at that walls. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. I'm guessing that's the pamphlet they what found earlier. The pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann. I don't know. Oh, I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. cold outside, isn't it? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Uh, 
Elijah, $24 for meal at the restaurant paid off. September, $11 for kit. Erica B. No show. It looks Mary like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. 140 for washing machine repairs. No show. 55 for kid shoes. Check past. December, no show, not returning calls. January, no show. She plays Mabel in Witches of Eldom? What? Why would What's I know about some here? silly show for teenage girls? Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Lisa has flaked on rehearsal again. And the girl's bad, sleep my happy logs. A D mail. <laughs> Seen a star, this lady. We'll say we love you, Auntie Tessa. Don't come for dinner sometime. Thank you for shopping with us. Your old alcoholic peeler's kitchen tool has been shipped. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. We're back, with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts. I never. Like I'm some kind of lone shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. August, October. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I... T Look, you've clearly decided I'm Judas, just like Marianne did. But I was trying to help. Tyler, she told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. You told her to send her child to conversion therapy. 
Do you know what they do to kids in those places? Obviously not. No. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Poor Tom. What are you thinking? He don't have a bloody Still clue. Wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. Marianne, she had my back. It really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you're feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> you're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. I guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, well, he's the a good cop. Curb. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Achievement unlocks full confession. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. then guys we're gonna leave it there for today damn they still got this creepy mascot huh okay we'll do this bit first what officer justin beaver is not creepy he's Delos crossing's longest serving officer <laughs> oh god hold on I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you're done. Right then, guys, we're going to leave it there. I shall catch you on the next one. I'll find someone to send you to if you stay tuned.
but we may need to redo some of it. Sorry, so I shall catch you again. 